Hey everybody, good morning. This is as raw as it gets. It's uh, me on the phone outside. I'm trying to to see how the audio is. And this experiment is live in this podcast uh, because if you sign up for Amazon Ads raw, then it is raw. So I'm having my phone connected to the MacBook to see how, how good the voice quality from my phone is compared to any other microphone I have available. Um, as you can see from the background, it is not mornings, it's during the day. It's very hot. Uh, we have the 6th of September and we have like 30 degrees here in Germany, which is like summer degrees. It's super hot outside, I'm sweating. And just wanted to give you a quick quick podcast episode today on product attributed targeting campaigns. I know we have been talking about that a lot. And I had a couple of episodes on that, but it's a topic which really is in my head and I really want to understand how they are working and what you can do and why Amazon is doing them. So I had a conversation with somebody and uh, he gave me some some uh, food for thoughts here and I wanted to share that with you all. So one thing is that... Um, he experienced, and this is more like a gut feeling, I would say, but uh, I heard it from my team as well. Product attributed targeting campaigns have lower CPCs on top of search than what generic keyword campaigns would have. There's a couple of explanations I would have for that. Maybe because product targeting campaigns can target multiple keywords and a larger set of search terms eventually are also targeting search terms, which do have lower uh, CPCs. Uh, and then the average CPC on those will drive down the average CPCs for your product attributed targeting campaigns. The problem with sponsor product product attributed targeting campaigns is we are not seeing any search terms, so we cannot 100% compare. But now the thing is, and that's true, and he said, but you can compare that for sponsored brands. So on sponsor brands, you can set up keyword campaigns and you can set up product attributed targeting campaigns. And in the product attributed targeting campaigns, you'll see the search terms. So what you can do now is compare the search term CPCs from sponsor brand with the keyword campaigns driving that exact same search term. And then you can compare the top of search CPCs. And he said, it's the opposite. So he said on PATs, product attributed targeting campaigns, top of search CPCs is higher than on keyword and on sponsor product is the other way around. I think that's super interesting um, and I would like to understand this more and I would like to drive some tests on this to actually explore and understand why that is happening. Usually there's only one explanation for me why CPCs on the same targeting and placement combinations. So we're talking about top of search and we're talking about the same search term. Assuming you have the same search term and the same placements, why would CPCs on one campaign type be lower than on another one? There's only one explanation for me why this could happen. And it is because Amazon wants to push that campaign type or that sub campaign type to more adoption from its advertisers. That's why they're incentivizing it by making a discount on the CPCs. If you see lower CPCs, then you would be willing to invest more on these and adopt it and increase your coverage on these things. But sponsor product, but here's the thing, sponsor product, product attributed targeting campaigns are not available since this month or last month or this year. They are available for two years, three years even, or even longer. So it's a, very long existing campaign type. And if it's true that the CPCs are lower because Amazon would discount them, I don't, I would not get it. I really would not get it. Maybe, and that's my last explanation, and I'll leave it for, for up to you for your imagination and for your curiosity to figure it out. Maybe they're doing it because you're not seeing all the search terms and if you have lower CPCs, you invest more into these campaign types and with that, you invest more into automatic campaigns and with automatic campaigns, Amazon Cat can push more ad inventory to you than you would actually want eventually. And then in total, you have lower CPCs, maybe better conversion rates, but you're spending more money. That's the only 
reasonable explanation I have for this case here. And with that, I'll leave you all alone for today. Have a wonderful Thursday. See you. Hear you. Take care. Bye-bye.